Welcome to our quick how-to on how to configure the notifications and access rights using our remote tools and remote desktop. So if we quickly drill into our RMM platform here, what we're going to do is expand our configuration templates and dive straight into our profiles. Under our profiles, I'll choose, choose one of our test ones here. And if I click edit on our sections area, we are talking about under the free options, we're talking about the remote control and under our device paid options, we are talking about remote tools. So if we go and look at these options now, if we click remote control to start with and click edit, you can see we have two options here. We have file transfer and device takeover. So under device takeover to start with, you can turn on and off what permissions you want to provide using this profile. And then we come into our notifications and permissions. So our first set of options is our permissions. So our first permission is that you can walk into the machine and have control and access without any questions asked. The next option is you can turn around and ask the user um, for a certain period of time. After that period of time, if there has been no answer, you can then automatically gain access. And of course, you can then change the time period there. The last and final option is that you can ask the user. And if there is no answer, this time you will be denied access. And of course, once again, there is the option there so you can change your settings. Now you do have a message box here, so you can turn around and change the message that is displayed. Uh, so it makes it more friendly. And the final set of options is the notifications. So you can turn on and off all of the notifications to start with. The next part is allowing the end user as part of the notification to terminate your connection from a little button. And the final option is once you have disconnected, do you leave your notification present so they know you have been there? Now, if you look at the file transfer options, you'll see we have the same layout here, turn on and off the sections you wish. We then have exactly the same permissions, and then we have exactly the same notifications. Drilling down to the remote tools section, and we click edit here, you'll see we have exactly the same once again. So you can turn on and off the different tools you want access to. And then we come down to the permissions. And these permissions are once again exactly the same as what we've discussed. And at the bottom, we then have the notifications, which are, unfortunately, I'm going to say it again, the same. So once you've learned the uh, concept of how we do it, it's then fine tuning it. So depending on what options you choose will depend if you are visible or invisible to your customers. Thank you for joining me.